We all know Genshin Impact is at a point where the late game content is kind of getting repetitive and there's some things that could easily be improved and I'm here to give you the top 5 ones that I think would make the game so much better and of course if you like this video please subscribe and everything you know like the video comment down below and follow my twitch in the description because obviously i'm gonna be going live and i'm fucking hilarious so you better get over there right now all right shit nicks let's get a move on. <laughs> for number five this is gonna be a bit of a controversial one and i think in addition to the spoil abyss would be absolutely beautiful not only would this save the primo situation where we don't get enough but this would also add more content for the player to grind for and constantly do and actually feel like it's worth grinding for instead of just making every enemy that you know level 120. now this would be floor 13. i know you've seen some fun some of you may have seen fan made screenshots of like you know the whole layer being red and stuff like that but let me go more in depth now there are two ways i see this going and i'm going to say the way that i probably would end up and the way i would want it to end up so the first way it would be just like another floor it would just have some really hard enemies to beat and really that's about it you'd get the same rewards as any other one and that's completely it now the way i would envision it it would be a whole separate floor that has got exclusive enemies and what is different about it is one it gives less prima gems for completing and two it resets every week instead of every two weeks and could possibly be even shorter now why do i say every week what's the point what i think genshin impact really needs is that point in the middle of like the game's patches where there's just no content at all and nothing to do where it just kind of gets stale because the abyss only updates once and then it's the next patch or the next banner at the very least because what i do notice a lot is like when we get towards like the middle of an update towards the end there really isn't that much content to cover or that much content to really do anymore other than your dailies so this would be a really positive change and I'm pretty sure it won't be that difficult to implement an extra floor. Now this is a huge shout but you could put weekly bosses in there, you could put two normal bosses in there. Because obviously this floor is like end end game, like this isn't something that you'd get with just like, like you've just turned AR50, you will never be able to beat this floor 13. Obviously I think that's pretty clear. And you know it could literally stray away from the format so much it wouldn't even have to be three chambers, it would literally could be just one per week with two halves and you do it and then you get rewards for it obviously i could stretch it out a little bit further and say they could add new enemies for it and specific enemies only for that abyss but obviously i know that would probably never happen but i do see the spiral abyss get an overhaul or an update at least now number four is an overhaul system of material exchanging right now we can only pretty much right now the only materials that we can actually convert are weekly boss drops and crystal drops and this may be a controversial pick but i think that they should allow pretty much anything to be you know transferred over with the right materials of course now this especially includes stuff like flowers that you have to pick for characters and boss drops as well because you're not always going to be able to farm boss drops now people are going to ask me okay is this is this just going to make the game really easy what's the point of farming and i will disagree with you on that to me it gives you an incentive to actually farm like everything you see because everyone tells you everything you see on the ground farm it but there's no incentive really when you don't need it for a specific character yet but if you could convert it then you would be have you would be have you would have such a massive incentive to go pick up everything that you see and actually farm and be dedicated to it you'd actually fight the enemies you want to fight sure there'd be like a cost to it like you couldn't just convert everything for free like there'd be like a smaller exchange rate so let's say to get one of a material you'd have to sacrifice two of a different material for it like make that a trade-off so obviously it won't be too broken and make it come out of cost for someone who just hasn't farmed and someone who wants to farm. And an easier fix for people just not doing this for new materials, put a time limit onto when this feature can be used on new materials and like release it like halfway into the patch or like even the patch afterwards if you want to be that selfish and just do that and you'd be solid. And I'm pretty sure everyone would appreciate that change because no one, no one appreciates how long it takes to actually farm for a full team of characters keep in mind you need two teams to clear spiral abyss and now it is a serious amount of content to get through i was really rethinking putting this on the list and just not sticking it in the honorable mentions instead because it is a very small change but i think it deserves a number three purely because of how much quality it really would provide and how much like accessibility it gives to the player and that is 
reverting constellations and choosing which ones you want to use. Now this isn't me saying that you should be able to refund constellations and get like a wish reward back for it. But what I do see working is if there is a refund system they give us something back from it but I don't think that ever would make sense to add or implement. So let me just move on to the main point. If you have a constellation you should have the right to deactivate it and activate it whenever you want. There is no point not doing it because you already paid for the constellation, you already wished for it, you already got it. It's not like you're refunding it, you're just being able to deactivate it whenever you need. Because for example, look at Bennett C6, right? He limits like 2-3 teams, right? But let's say you now want to use those 2-3 teams. You have no choice but to just not use him. I know, I've seen this talked about a bit as well, but I think it, it would go such a long way for this kind of change to be in the game where you can just revert the constellation back if you don't want to use it. And I'm not saying you should be able to like pick and choose between constellations, but you should be able to deactivate at least from the bottom down. You should be able to deactivate, you know, C5, then C4, then C3. You should probably not be able to do like deactivate C2 and then deactivate C4. Like I don't think that would ever really work. And now number two, also a really, really controversial one is trading weapons and characters. Now you're going to fucking look at me and go, yeah, you're fucking crazy if you think we should add this or if you think they're going to add this. Because of course, they're probably not going to want to add this, but I think it would be such a good quality of life change. And I'm not saying allow people to sell these for money, but I'm just saying allow people to trade weapons that they don't need with each other. Because I think it would make a lot more sense. Because let's say, hypothetically speaking, you have a friend. <laughs> hypothetically speaking, you have a friend. Your friend has the weapon that you need for your character and has the best in slot, but they don't use their character. But you really, really need that weapon and you have a weapon that they really, really need. So you should be able to trade it back and forth. You know, no transaction fee, no actual money involved. You just be able to trade weapons together and you should be fine. And now let's say you have a character constellation that you don't need or you don't want and you just want to give it to someone else because why not you should be allowed to do that and then you should be allowed to you should be allowed to give it away or like trade it for something else obviously but uh, if they don't allow constellation they should at least allow you to trade the full character so if you want to give someone the full character you're going to get penalized by having to give them the constellations as well i see that working and i see that becoming so good for the community and just how healthy it is and how much people actually have an incentive to grind the game. And the way I see this working is to set it like a trade limit to like how often you can do this. Because obviously if someone's trading every single day for hours and hours and then they're not trading to get something. They're trading to get fucking paid. Which obviously is a big issue especially considering Hoyoverse because money, you know. But I do have a few honourable mentions before the number one spot. And I think that these don't deserve the number one spot and I didn't make the list because they were really too small. And the kind of things that the community have been already asking for. So I didn't really want to ruin the list by making the number one. Something that everyone has already expecting. So let's get over to the first one. And the first honourable mention, you probably could have guessed, is actual artifact loadouts. We have got scammed in this last update when they gave us quote unquote artifact loadouts. They do nothing. It's like just a quick apply for lazy people. It's not even a loadout. It's a terrible system and I don't use it because honestly you can just find the best artifacts for your chosen character and needs yourself. It's not that difficult. Another honourable mention is the resin cap. The resin cap is just disgusting for the amount of content there is to farm through every week and every day in the game. With the amount of weekly bosses and normal bosses and the amount of characters in the game it is really really unrealistic to have only 160 resin for free every day. It is so small compared to what it could be and what it should be and my solution for it is just to make it like 240 like honkai star rail it's not that deep just make it 240 it'll save everyone's life and make it regen faster so i'd have to wait for fucking two years to fucking art do artifacts oh I, I guess this counts as the same honorable mention but increase the condensed why is there a cap on the amount of condensed resin i can have that is so stupid to me why is there a limit why is there a limit? Why can't I save my resin for a special day and like have like save up 100 condensed and then spend it all on the same domain? Why can't I do that? It makes no difference if I just spend it all on the same day. There is no difference from you just not letting me do it now. Why are you forcing me to spend it? Let me save it up, man. Please. I'd have so much fun. And I think everyone would too if they could just... Because like, let's say you're away on a trip, right? You can't do your Genshin domains because the internet's shit. But you can still hop on so you hop on and you condense your resin and then you leave for the next day why can't you just do that until you get home why is there an actual limit on it i don't get it and i really think the reputation system needs an overhaul 
and in a way where you can actually consistently get like XP for it instead of just instead of being limited instead of being limited every week how much you can progress in this one because imagine you start the game when Shaznai comes out and you have all of these seven nations of reputation quests to complete you're not going to get that done because of how slow it is and how long it actually takes to get to max level per region so please overhaul it make it a way where we can keep on farming for it even if we've done all three bounties all three requests you know what remove the limit on bounties please remove the limit on bounties because why can i not do more than three why are you trying to hinder my progression i don't get it just fix up get a life that's all i'm saying and now i know you're shaking and i know you're waiting for the number one spot and i'll announce it right now the number one quality of life improvement that genshin could get is premium gem payouts increasing call me lazy i don't care but this is the most important change that actually needs to happen they need to give us more things because the game is changing there's more characters there's more everything and the rewards are still the same nothing's better it's still the same as it used to be it needs a change and it needs a change quickly because i hate how long it takes to save up for one character and they're planning on doing triple banners now so what's the fucking point there is no way that they think that they can keep giving us the same rewards while pushing out triple banners pushing out all these characters and expecting us to get all of them there's a limit on how much exploration you can do you know you know the premium gem payoffs have to change they have to increase or else the game will be just terrible and just unrewarding to play the worst thing a game can do is feel like you're not again rewarded for actually playing it you feel like you're a waste of space playing the game and that needs a change and it needs a change now because I don't want to have to wait so long to get a character without spending my money. And I know the point of the game is to spend money. But at the end of the day, why? Why do I have to spend so much money? Why can't I just grind the game at a normal pace and grind the game so I can actually get the character I want without having to grind so much that my fucking family forgets I exist? And then of course my solution is increase payouts on quests, increase commission payouts give players more login rewards like Honkai Star Elders just no Genshin just steal the entire reward process from Honkai Star Rail and slap it onto Genshin and trust me you'll be perfect no one will ask you for more thank you so much for watching guys I really really appreciate it and of course if you did enjoy please like comment and subscribe and follow my twitch in the description or I will find you 